Hello everybody. Well, it's been about three weeks. Um, we've been out of action, both of us. Rob's over there <coughs> with um, COVID. So today's the first day back again. So he's um, cutting the stainless steel pipe for the back support for the um, uh, we're making a, a lift arm for a davit for the um, uh, outboard motor, the back of the boat, uh, the tender. And then I've got to work out the plate positioning and um, configuration for the uh, base plate, the stainless. And uh, yeah, that's where we've been. So yeah, three weeks out of action. So hopefully we'll take it easily. Um, we're still both suffering side effects of this rotten disease or virus, whatever. Um, so yeah, so I'll keep you updated and we'll just see where we go from here. Um, and um, some, yeah, anyway, it's good to be back on board, back on deck. So thanks very much. Okay. Well, this is sort of the area. Hey. Oh, I'm just talking to the camera. Rude. Mm. <clears throat> we gotta figure this out. It's quite large, isn't it? It's got to be also you've got to do the lines through here I don't know, just make it into a square, just to cut the edges off. How much <coughs> how much area do we need? Mm, more or better. It's just in an awkward position, isn't it? Yeah, because you've got to be centered here. It's just center. You're going to have space around this. You don't want to obstruct that. So, if you had a support... Where would your main areas of angle be? So swinging out, you've got to be at, at a right angle to that. And then to there. Right angle, right angle. Yeah, two gussets. And, and maybe basically one, one back here. Yeah, one at the back. Opposite. So that way, you could took that out, what do you reckon? I don't know. Well, I reckon there's our center. Yep. You could get your weld in there. I'm not welding there. Oh, this yeah. has been bolted. Oh, this hole has been bolted down. Yeah. Okay, we're not welding anything. Yeah, yeah, we're welding the gussets yeah, and yeah, everything yeah. in, but to put it to the deck, All right. we're just going to bolt it. Okay. So I reckon. Oh, 
obviously a bit straighter. Well, you don't even need to cut it then, really. What do you need to cut it? If you're going to silicon it, and, and, and if we silicon and bolt it down, you don't even need to cut it. All right, and then we'll Then it'll be a lot prettier. Because we want to gusset there. We want to gusset there. And we want to gusset there. Mm. Don't. Yeah, if we're not cutting it, we'll put a gusset in there too. Yeah, but you've got to run a, a, a a your lines around, around there. there. You want to clear that, so because when you uh, do your lines, you forget about that. So there. 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 Bolt hole, bolt hole. Bolt hole. Yeah, I'll just center all those out. Yeah, we'll center yeah, them center all up, up and make yeah. it look pretty. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so. And we can use that straight stainless. No, uh, we don't want to gas. Uh, no, because you got to keep this hand I'll hand put clear. a question mark there. <coughs> and we'll just have a look. We might just put a tiny one in. Alright. Because when you do your lines through here, you want to be able to now you, pass those around. you got to go underneath. Hopefully, <coughs> there's witness marks for this. All right. And this. You know what I mean by witness marks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd see the, the well. Yeah, underneath. Yeah. And that'll give you an idea of what's where. Yeah. Okay, I'll go downstairs and have a look. Yeah. There's your cleat. There's your round pole. Yeah. So we'll have a brace. Yeah, because the bolts will go here. Yeah, Just remember, right. we got the bolts um, about. Yeah, it's only a five dicks, five dicks difference of a couple of mil here, five mil yeah. on either side. So. Either way, we should be able to rotate it. Yeah, really? all good. Yeah, there's the... The bollard plate. I've got no tell it. About half a stick. Half a stick. Yeah. Precision. Half, half a stick, mate. Look at these windows. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. They solid. I can holiday there. Oh yeah. Done on. Oh, there you go. Fighting the tape. Oh, the tape was in the back, wasn't it? Yeah. Fucking mm -hmm. well, I hope you got it all in there, eh? Yeah, we've got, to, that's we've, got to, we've got to still get in there with those, but that looks like it's bloody just a, a big opening, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a hollow back. And down the side? Yeah, no, we still got to get in the back. I'll, I'll get old, old mate Chris back again. He's very good at that stuff. <coughs> Oh, funky green light going on in there. Yeah, when we get that um that galmet, I'll just I'll go through the whole boat, do all the all the whole bits and paint everything with galmet and then you only small for your battery? Yeah we got some. Yeah. Um, <coughs> over on that white table. On the gas, there's a toolbox with a standard packet on it, in it. Okay, Rob's grinding off um, a couple of mil off the pipe because the, the pipe, the uh, davit, main davit pipe, I think is slightly out of whack. Um, it's not completely round. Um, I've been working on this. Let me get it down. So I've worked out my holes, so I'm going to do four holes, drill four holes, um, probably about 10 mil. Um, 
and that'll use for the bolting down onto the stern of the boat. Let's see how we go. Oh, I'm getting closer. A little bit more, you reckon? Okay, what Rob's going to do today is he's going to weld this on. So yesterday, we cut everything. And it's going to be all very nice. So he's got those four pieces. That's the stands, or the bracing. And um, that'll be the base plate for the... Um, Davit. That's the main pole that's being ground back. And the Davit head is. Where's the Davit head gone? I don't know. It's around somewhere. Anyway. And in the meantime, I am working over here. Very messy. Um, I had this soaking in. That's the, um, the major windless gears um, and that's the the electric motor from the the Maxwell windlass that was the original on the boat I'm just trying to um, see if I can save it I refurbish it and maybe sell it and get some money back for the boat because we need some money because we're running low um, so yeah so that was soaking in the, the rust converter which is the jug is somewhere around here anyway so that was that and then uh, so I'm going to try to take these off with some allen keys today and loosen this gearing up There's something sort of loose sitting in there don't know what that is I'll have to look at that see that and uh, that's the other gear that's the, the top for it so that's what I'm going to be working on okay he's making a little brace Can you explain what you're doing? Putting feet on this so that when we go to drill this, yeah. it'll cradle it like so. You can drill straight down without the drill bit walking or wanting to run down the edges. It gives you more control. Lovely. Okay. I'm with you. Yeah, because if you're trying to drill into a, a, a tube, the, the, the bit does it does it, it, it tends to wander because it, it'll slide off and that's yeah. why you need to punch it as well too and then but that's that's a brilliant idea yeah okay and because this is going to have a pin going through it yep we've got to drill both sides at once yep and i'll put say a five mil four mil drill bit through it yep we'll weld him all up yep and then we'll put the post in yep and we'll run the five mil through with the post in it yep and then we'll pull it apart Yep. And drill the, and you 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 bracket brace that too, wouldn't you? This. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what they're for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. But I mean, when you when you're actually drilling it, you're gonna put a, a clamp on that, so no. it wouldn't doesn't. Oh, no. you don't need to. No, I don't need to. Okay. That's what this is here for. It keeps it can't okay. move anyway. Oh, because so. I thought that you would it would maybe no, stop you, it from rolling. Just. You look down that end when you're about to drill, yeah, yeah. and just make sure that it's on the center, yeah, yeah. and then drill down through. Okay, cool. Lovely. So what would you call this? A jig. 
a jig. Yeah, it's just so a tube, jig. tubular uh, drill jig. Yeah. Okay. Because I might title the, the video. Fantastic. Okie dokie. So what next? I'll uh, just weld up the other end then you can be a good TA and bring the drill out. Okay. And then we'll drill in. Okay. And then I can start tacking up. Okay, cool. This is one of my favourite things in the world. These little dollies. Oh. As they call them dollies. Would you call them dollies? They're dollies, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so little um little bench with uh, some caster wheels on it from Bunnings. Um, and it saves you back moving stuff around. I've got a few in there doing different things. I think there's actually one underneath the boat as well, too. Uh, got a big one. It just saves you. Moving everything about. Now, my, um, this is my uh, Samsung S10. My son put me onto a, a new phone. I got a S22, a 50% off. So I'm using the S10 uh, as my new video camera. Um, I'm not too sure what I've done with my uh, GoPro. It's around the place somewhere. But um, as you can tell with me that I'm, Quite disorganized that's why it's good to have rob around here still trying to find i bought two sets of drill bits and uh, only can find one set of drill bits so but anyway let's see how we go dodgy it's on a stabilizing tripod thing aren't you a clever dicky Rolled it. 
All right, we can just re redo it. Bubbly, as Jamie Oliver would say. And that gives you your two holes. Beautiful. Straight line. We can do the whole bow, um, uh, bow thrust in there, Rob. <laughs> you got a fucking big enough drill bit? <laughs> no, just joking. I don't even yeah. know how I'm no. going to approach that. No, well, no, no, we don't do it. Oh. No, 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 somebody else does it. No, 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 no. But you and I have to, we have to, what we have to do on the hull is... Um, We've got to put uh, two sonar, forward facing sonar, um, drill holes through the hole. And I've got to figure out where we have to actually position them because when, when we finish painting out the hole, then we'll have to um, drill, drill that hole, the hole stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and, and then we've got to do some new through holes, I think, too. So if anyone knows of a good uh, marine electrician that can design our system for us, please let us know because we're in dire need. Thank you. And we're not, we're not getting any response from a few people I've even emailed. Okay, so what next? I'll pull the drill down and... We'll take this down? Yeah, I'm going to start setting oh, up. I just want to wipe this down a bit so keep it clean. gun looks after you and you look after your gun. Well, you look after your gun and your gun looks after you. It's not a gun, but you look after your tools. Oh, we don't want to do the big holes yet, Rob? No, we can drill them while we're together. All right. Uh -huh. Oh, we've got skew if there. What's happened there? The whole lot was off. You see what's happened to this, this frame? The whole thing's gone, lifted up. See over there? Yeah. The feet are gone completely. I think, I don't know whether just leave it there is the way it is. Better to be left alone then. The whole thing's jumped up. Hopefully you don't wreck this other frame. <clears throat> I think if we put the hole there. Because if it goes there, the gust is the oh, yeah, way. Okay. Yeah, that's good because that's the bow. And then we've got easy access. Yeah, well it doesn't really matter like yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, where, which way the bow is now, as long as it's in between one of these. But if the pin's above the bolt, yeah, yeah. the bracing isn't going to get in the way. You with me? Yeah, yeah because also the, um, the, the bollards here. I reckon slightly back this way because it's going to be easy because I'm right handed. That there? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I'll be, literally, I'll be, it's in the corner there like that, right? Yep. So you, you have to, you go down like that, and, and rather than having a, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, fuck around yeah, and yeah. try and minute, twist your arm and... Yeah, yeah. Just those little things. That's a good deal for this. That was like 150 bucks, I think I paid for this thing. Yeah. That was good. 250, I can't remember. But even at 250, it's a good deal. 
Oh. Roll of smoke and then. Okay. Put this on hold. Oh. Hello, darling. Hello. <coughs> Hello, Wally. Dad. Ignored me. Bastard. All the right. I was taken in for walks all the time. Now I was well. Not all the time, but sometimes. You want a coffee, mate? Yeah, we got chip and hammer. Yeah, I did. A black one, a little black one. Yeah. I bet you it's up in the boat. Oh. Your one's on the left. <coughs>
taking your advice. But I, I think I'll in, in, put it in the bottom and then use it as a sleeve. Yeah. Okay, I'm buffing this base plate. Check this out, people. Put this in my little holder here. Look how, look, look how good this is. Let's find a bad spot. Uh, bad spot, bad spot. Okay, let's say there. Let's look at it, check this out. This is this little nylon. Stand it a bit. Oops, you guys might chisel. Rob, yeah. stop it. Just burping the, look, just burping the whole day long. Nothing but sounds coming out of all ends. Okay. Now, I might just get my buffer. Oh, it's got a little bit more there. I need a buffer. I think I've, um, had my camera facing the wrong direction all the time so I've got uh, these I'm going to put that on there I'm going to put that on there and I've got these 10 mil bolts so oops, I've got a hole in my pants not double pocketed so a new drill bit Hopefully, this will
pretty good. I think I'm going to turn it around. Yes. Well, the two holes done. That one and that one. Okie dokie. A bit blurry on the inside. A little bit rusty in here. I'm going to use a rubber gasket on there. I think got some new drill bits the other day. They do a lot better. Okay. Yeah, this is the lead. It's an older one, but uh, I think it's still fairly good. Hope it takes the weight. Where's my bolt? And washer. Put that through there. on this side I'm not shooting up near the sun am I okay there's a nut there's my washer need another nut So easy to bend. Now this little boy. I think I'll have the um it's got a, a rope feed. So I think that would work better going back this way. So through there get in the hole okie dokie now I'm just going to tighten those up and now 
I can feed this through. This says it takes 3,000 kilos of Dyneema. Uh, 3,000 load weight is Dyneema. Very nice. Looks good. Um, where's my block? Where's my block here? And with my spinning handle, fell down somewhere. It's around here somewhere. So this goes on here. I think that's the bottom. This is the top that attaches to here. I could do with some pads on here. Are we getting all this in? There we go. Okay. Okie dokie. So, might be better from the other side. Oops. Where's the jolly? Might attach this. Oops. Yeah. Where am I? If I is it facing the right direction? I'd like to do it on the right hand. If I've done this the right way, where's my winch handle? Well, it's a smidge. The way it's set up is the winch handle is on the left hand side. Is that right? No, it's basically on the right hand side now, so we turn it around. But I think before it was looking like it was on the left hand side. So I've got an issue with these nuts, trying to find a nut to fit it and then fit it underneath. There's not much distance under there. So also this is a, a, a fraction too long there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those edges off now. I've laced this through. And uh, 
to get some eye protection and some ear protection. Not so level. Gotta come this way. So I don't burn that because that's just plastic or nylon. Thing there. You need a bit of a file off there. And I'll do that first, file it off. Okie dokie. on there properly and then just build up my pants okay okay now what I want to do so that's right handle put it down the right side Oh, beautiful. See that? Spot on. As we say. And now I have to see if I can get your view. Down in there. I've got to do those bolts up there. But really, I want to put a... um. I'm going to put a, uh, a rubber gasket in it underneath. I suppose I don't really need Oh, yeah, I think so. Because that, that's not stainless, that's um, 
probably gal and uh, put something in there this has been bent backwards but I'm not going to worry about that so just temporarily uh, see if I can just uh, bolt that on now swing you around this way stands a little bit lopsided Now what I'm looking for is to make it easier to socket it on. I think I saw somewhere there they put some tape or something on it. A bit of a balancing act here. I think this is going to take a while, so I'll get back to you. Well, it took me 15 minutes, but I finally got them on. Well, three or just the nuts. I'm just tightening it all up now. So it's working. Yeah. Not much give. The sun's going down as well, too. Now this is the, the tricky bit because this one will disengage you and you can't you see that's pushing up against here and then there's no room here so you gotta try to get that you get it from this angle Oops, on there. Are you getting in there? It's a fair way to go. Getting there, I think. There we go. Well, hopefully, that's not going to. Is that going to scrape? Oh, heck. That's about a millimeter or two space. So that works. That's great. Well, I'll just finish tightening off that other one. And then I'll have to find a nut for there. And then I'll uh, give you a look, see what, see what it's like at the end. Okay, I just carried it up the uh, ladder. It's pretty heavy. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna grab the handle. And then this is gonna get straightened out. I think this is going far enough. Get it back to the front. I think this is a. Uh, I think this is on the wrong way. I'll be back a second. 
Okie dokie. That was definitely around the wrong way. Anyway, if I turn on this one. Not turning very much a low ratio gear. that way I could even make just a short roller through there I don't know if that's well I suppose when it's coming up What do you think, people? It's pretty good, isn't it? So, if we have the outboard motor there, we can lift it up and put it up. On here, we'll make a, another bracket or something on here. And uh, so, you can just swing over. And uh, we can just lower it down onto there. Like that. There you go. Well, I hope everyone sort of got something out of that. Um, There's quite a lot involved. It's been done over a period of time. Um, just remember, uh, we're completely self-funded, so anyone who'd like to help us out, please go down to Patreon, Navy Days, and we'd really appreciate some support. Thanks very much. Cheers.